Good afternoon. All right. So, how many students are present today? Present is presence is very fabulous. Or very least number of students are present today. So, presence should be maximum. Maximum. That's good. And did you manage the books? Did you manage the books or not? So please manage the books. So the books are ready. So if you visit in the book stall, you will get it on time. And students, uh, we have started new topic. Could you remember what is the topic? That is pressure. And what did we discuss last time? One is hydrostatic pressure or liquid pressure. And what is the formula of liquid pressure? P equals to H D G. H means height of liquid column. D is density of liquid. G is acceleration due to gravity. And uh, Liquid pressure is directly proportional to those three factors. Liquid column, density of liquid, and acceleration due to gravity. Dear students, then we discuss about Pascal's law. So who propounded it? Blaise Pascal. In which year? When did he propound it? Sorry? 1647 or 1847? 1647. 1647. Near about 400 years ago. So students, now, and, and we discussed uh, the law. Law states that when pressure is applied to a liquid enclosed in a container, then it is transmitted equally in all directions. That is Pascal's law or in a simple way, in a simple language we can say. What is that? Liquid transmits pressure equally in all direction. Very simple is liquid transmits pressure equally in all direction. So where is Pascal's law applied? It is applied in different devices like hydraulic press, hydraulic brake, hydraulic garage lift, isn't it? Right? And students, we discuss about a hydraulic machine. What is the formula that we have obtained from hydraulic machine? That is F2 by F1 equals to A2 by A1 or F2 by A2 equals to F1 by A1. So students, in today's class, what are we going to discuss? Let me share the screen. Are you ready? Okay. So on Friday, I wanted to guide you something, but there was no sufficient time. Uh, now, okay, document. I'm going to share it. Now, device storage. What happened? My voice, what happened? Today, my voice is not coming. My voice must come. Now coming. It will come slow, slowly. Okay. So, I'm going to share it. Uh, now, it is here in the screen uh, okay it was discussed last time now next one what is here uh, Pascal's law I have just shown and this formula a2 by a1 equals to f2 by f1 or f1 by a1 equals to f2 by a2 did uh, students did you manage Pen and paper with you or not? You must manage pen and paper. Okay. 
so here is given some numerical problems one hydraulic machine is given you just take here so this is hydraulic machine here is hydraulic machine and here are two cylinders this is small cylinder and this is large cylinder small and large cylinder and what is the area of small cylinder 4 square centimeter area of large cylinder 25 square centimeter and uh, force or load overcoming the big piston is 500 newton we have to calculate the force applied in small cylinder so find the find out x in the given diagram check it out here uh, cross sectional area a1 is a2 is 25 cm square a1 is 4 cm square and next one what is here f2 f2 is 500 newton and f1 is to calculate we have to calculate the f1 but it is given here capital a and small a capital a and small f they have made their own formula but remember formula is f2 by a2 equals to f2 by a2 equals to f1 by a1 so what is your f2 f2 is 500 newton f1 we have to calculate x a2 25 cm square and a1 4 cm square so if you substitute the value then it comes 25 by 4 equals to 5000 by f why 5000 so 5000 is force overcome in large piston x we have to calculate so did you find the value how much it has come who has got the value has anybody got the value 25 by 4 equals to 5000 or f equals to 4 multiplied 5000 by 25 how much have you got the value must come how much so 20000 by 25 equals to it comes 800 newton 800 newton so to lift the load of 5000 newton we have to apply the force of 800 newton only see by the application of less amount of force heavy load can be lifted see we have to apply only 800 newton to lift or to overcome 5000 newton i have said you while writing the answer you have to write the answer in words see thus 800 newton effort will be required on the small piston it is done like that right so remember now friends we will be discussing example number two example two what does it say so here is given one diagram you might have seen this diagram have you seen this diagram earlier this diagram was there in Pascal's law right so how many pistons are here how many pistons are here four pistons look at here here is first piston here is second piston third piston fourth piston in cylinder a b c d there are four pistons force is applied from piston kept in a p like this inside when force is applied pressure is exerted with the liquid and that pressure is transmitted equally in each piston piston connected in p goes inside piston x y z they will go 
outside. P goes inside inward. X, Y, Z they go outward. Why do they go outward? Because of equal transmission of liquid pressure. Here are given some values. Area of A, area of B, force applied on A, force applied on B. Look at there. So we know A, area of A by area of B equals to force applied on A by force applied on B. Then substitute the value. So force applied on B comes 160 Newton. Always the ratio of areas will be equal to sorry ratio of forces. That's why A area of A by area of B force applied on A force applied on B it's given. So students now let's see another one. What can we check here? For area of B area of C what is given and what to calculate? We have to use the formula. Let's go a little bit up. For y, for y, what is given? Force on A, force on C, area of A, area of C. What is not given? Area of C is not given. Then again formula, area of A by area of C equals to area of F by area of C. So F A by so area of A by area of C equals to force on A by force on C. Then substitute the value. Value is given 10 by this A C equals to 20 by 30. So the value comes uh, 300 by 20 means 150 Newton. So area area is not Newton. Area is in square centimeter. Area will come in square centimeter let me show you here up uh, how much it came 300 by 20 means 15 centimeter square for another piston area is given area of a area of d force applied on a force applied on d we have to calculate the formula is like this what the formula a area of a by area of D equals to force applied on A by force applied on D. Now what is the area of A? 10 by area of D is 4 equals to force applied on A is 20 by let's say here is X. Now what is the value of X? X, is, X equals to 20 for the 80. 80 by 10 equals to 8. It is force means Newton. 8 Newton. Okay. So let's see whether our solution is right or wrong. I, I'm going to check in next one. Simply remember, ratio of two forces is equal to ratio of two areas. Ratio of two forces is equal to ratio of two areas. Okay. Uh, that we have got from Blaise Pascal's law which was given 400 years ago but still it is applicable. So how talented he was. Right. Now let's see the solution is given in next Page. The page is already kept here. Thus, value of x is 160 Newton, y is 15 cm square, and z is 8 Newton. We have calculated, and you have to write in which one? Sentence form. You have to write in sentence form. Okay. Uh, next one is strength. This one. You have to do like this. Another question. It's given here, in a hydraulic machine, 
the ratio of the cross sectional area of a big cylinder to small cylinder is 30 is to 1. Calculate the load overcome by big piston by applying the effort of 600 Newton at the small piston. This is the question. Now, how to solve this one? First, you check it here. What is given? It's 30 is to 1. What is 30 is to 1? That is F2 by uh, ratio cross sectional area. Cross sectional area means A2. It's given here A2 by A1 equals to 30 by 1. Where there is A2 by A1, then you can write 30 by 1. Is that clear? Calculate the load overcome. Load overcome means you have to calculate F2. And if what applied is F1. F1 equals to what? Do you know what is the formula? Formula is, I'm going to write here, check it out. Formula is F2 by F1 equals to A2 by A1. I hope you are writing. F2 by F1 equals to A2 by A1. F2 by F1 is given, not given. So F2 we have to calculate. F2 let's say X by F1 is 600 equals to Next, what is given here? F2 by F1 is 30 by 1. Then X equals to 30 times 600. 30 times 600 is how much? 18,000. So that is force Newton. 18,000 Newton force is overcome by the application of how much force students how much force 600 newton force okay 600 newton force so this thing you have to keep in mind so here we have applied the formula from hydraulic machine which formula ratio of forces equals to Ratio of areas F2 by F1 equals to A2 by A1. So, actually, I wanted to complete it yesterday, but due to lack of time, we could not do it. Now, in today's class, we are continuing some more. So, let's see. Let me see whether some students they are waiting or not. Sometimes what will happen, they will come and... But the time now is 13.30. Students, you have to 30. be faster than me. Everybody, you have to be here by 12.05. Those who join after 12.05, I'm not going to accept them. It means they are quite passive. So they come time in again. Yeah, 12, no, 1.05. No, 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 no. 1.05. So make the time not later than 1.05, then it will be easy. Okay, students, so what are you going to discuss today? I'm sharing the screen now. Screen is being shared. Uh, let's check. Good. Can you see something over here? Students, what is given? Yes, sir. Hydraulic garage lift. Hydraulic garage lift is given. So, what is hydraulic garage lift? When we studied about, yeah, actually that is the device which is based on Pascal's law. It uses the principle of Pascal's law. Okay, so especially it is used in the garage. Why? To lift cars, jeeps, vans etc light devices not for big bosses big trucks etc okay so how is it made up of let's see so its construction we are going to discuss 
So construction is given in next page. Remember hydraulic garage lift. So screen is being shared. Now I'm going to make it quite bigger one. If the figure is made quite bigger, then you can see it and understand it easily. All right, students. Can you see the diagram? The diagram is here. Okay, please let's see. So, which device is being lifted? A car is being lifted, lifted, right? So, see here. The car is over here, and what is kept in this device? Liquid. Can you see here some liquid or not? Water is kept here. Here are two pistons. Here is small piston. I have underlined it, circled it, and next one here is big piston. Here is small piston, here is big piston, and you can see two bulbs, bulb A and bulb B. Can you see? So this bulb A, it is one way only. Water can come this side, but it cannot go that side. Is that clear? And bulb B, bulb B, it can open like this. And here is something, here is lever. When the lever is pulled, then it presses the liquid inside and by the by its pressure or by its force force pressure is exerted in this liquid the pressure is transmitted this side it goes up and the piston moves upward and the car goes up remember in the reservoir water is kept here is one check valve so that water can come inside here but cannot go back and when force is applied in piston in this piston when force is applied in this piston downward it exerts pressure this pressure is transmitted to this side and it goes up and with the help of large amount of force it is pressed up and the vehicle is lifted so it depends upon the ratio of this big area of this big uh, cylinder and area of the small cylinder if the ratio is more force is multiplied that much times i mean if the ratio of this big piston and small piston is 20 suppose 20 then how many times the load can be multiplied? 20 times. If the ratio of area of that big piston and small piston is 100, then how many times the force is multiplied? How many times? 100 times. That's why in this hydraulic machine, we have to use very small cylinder to apply the force and very large cylinder to overcome the load. So force is exerted, pressure is transmitted and the load is lifted. Where? In hydraulic, hydraulic garage lift. In, in hydraulic garage lift. Right? Okay. Now students, Next one is here, hydraulic brake. But one thing, do you know what does it mean by hydraulic? Hydraulic means presence of water. Hydraulic means presence of water. Okay, so now hydraulic brake. Earlier we discussed hydraulic garage lift to lift light vehicles like car, small uh, trolleys or other devices or um, tempo also can be lifted but this hydraulic brake is that device which is used in four wheelers like uh, this 
truck, bus, minibus, their brake is hydraulic brake. So what is used there? Water in their brake. Water in their brake. You have seen the vehicles carrying very heavy load. So the drivers, they apply less force over there. Look at your diagram. Diagram is given here clearly. Here is foot brake. Look at here. Here is foot brake. And when this pedal, can you see here? This is the person's leg. When it is pressed down like this, then this device, this piston moves slightly inside and it is kept here brake oil. And that brake oil, it goes slow inside here and presses these brakes outside as a, re as a result the wheel comes in rest or motion what do you think it comes in rest we apply the brake to bring the de device in rest position one second, let's just look at here. So, here is the device. This is the brake, hydraulic brake used in heavy vehicles. Device is given clearly. The C we have once. Um, here is one lever, here is oil, and here is one cylinder. And next you can see uh, brake shoe. Here is brake shoe. This brake shoe, when it is, it gets connected to the wheel. Here is wheel. Then the wheel comes in rest position. So first of all, if the driver wants to bring the vehicle, which is at motion to rest, he applies force in this pedal by the help of his leg. Here is this leg, leg of the driver. When it is pressed, here is one lever, lever contains piston. This piston presses the oil. Here is brake oil, here is liquid. And that oil slowly passes from here, from this tube, goes inside and presses this white thing. What is this? that is brake shoe and that brake shoe comes in contact with inner rim of the wheel when it comes in contact with the inner rim of the wheel the wheel stops moving and the vehicle comes in contact comes in contact dear students you may use bicycle so bicycle also has got brake shoe have you seen but in bicycle, what is not used? Hydraulic machine is not used. That is manual. Just we have to apply force by the help of our hand. Then it works. Otherwise, it does not. Okay. So, in today's class, what do we discuss? Remember, we discussed about some numerical problems in what were the formula used very easy formula area of forces ratio of area of forces equals to ratio of area of uh, sorry ratio of areas of the cylinders equals to ratio of forces i just said it incorrectly remember f2 by f1 equals to a2 by a1 that formula we have got from hydraulic machine yesterday we have applied in each how many cylinders are there no problem just cylinder a b c d whatever is there so their area their applied force area applied force so find the ratio so Ratio of 
area is equal to area the ratio of forces if three items are given fourth can be found easily remember the formula f2 by f1 equals to a2 by a1 okay so again how to make a2 f2 for a small cylinder f1 a1 for large cylinder f2 a2 is that clear or not and next thing what did we discuss today about two devices which work on pascal's law what are they hydraulic brake hydraulic garage lift garage lift dear students now it is your duty to make attractive note and submit to me so i will be checking it after 3 so one hour time is given to you please make it and submit to me so with clear cut diagrams so genius and alpha students they will do well lazy students they do not participate like that and they cannot do much better in their study okay today this much thank you have a wonderful day bye bye uh, bye bye sir